Tommy Mac. Tommy Mac. Tommy Mac! Yes! Oh. Coming at you live from the G, I am here with Absolutely nobody. I couldn't drag anyone to the D's clash tonight. But that's all right, that's all right. I can't miss a D's game. So even if nobody comes with me, I've got to come up the highway by myself. The Swans, they usually have the edge over us when we play, especially at the G. I think we've won one of the last seven or eight against them here. So it's going to be a really interesting clash. Two things I want to see. I want to see Ben Brown have an absolute blinder. That's something I'll be keeping a close eye on. And I want to see how we start. I would love the first quarter to have a little bit of a lead. In recent games, we've been playing catch up. So, massive clash here at the MCG. Come on, Dees, make it eight and zip. Come on. Cozzy in the middle. I love when he starts in the middle. Come on, Dees, want to see a fast start. This is why I said at the start of the game, I hope we start fast. We always start slow, I would say, in most of the games this year. Um, we're sort of chasing ass in the first term, sort of concede the first three and then we switch on. And the Swans have pretty easily gone forward twice and scored twice. And it's exactly how I thought we'd start, but it's why I raised the point before the game, to start fast. That's what I want to see. So a little bit disappointing. Malksham for our second in a row and a bit of a settler. Usually a good kick. Yeah, that'll do. Luke. Well done, Jake Melksham. Great build up and show from Spargo to Benny Brown in his lining up. Come on, Benny. Yes, get around him. Get around the big man. Quarter time here at the G, and I think the Swans have been on top of us. Tom Hickey kicks one late to give them the lead. We're trailing by two points. We started really slow, which is what I thought we would and what we seemed to do, but we got back in the game with three in a row and the Swannies kicked one late. I think pretty impressed with everyone around the ground. Ben Brown started quite well. Tommy McDonald started well. Um, our midfield's getting mobbed in the clearances though, which is a little bit frustrating, but um, yeah, can't complain with that first quarter. Keep it up and um, yeah, let's get it going, Dees. Come on. Come on, Dees. Jeez, we spoke about it before the game. Benny Brown. I wanted to see a real effort from him tonight. He's taken a couple of good marks and he's lining up for his second goal directly in front. The kick from 40 out. The famous long run up. The big boner. Low and flat, but it's home. Yes, Benny Brown. Jeez, Melksham dogged Benny Brown, leading right up the guts, 30 out. Went long to T-Mac. Who got collected, ball fell to ground, and then Petrarca scores, the big million dollar man, get around But him. he's getting frustrated playing on May. It's physically, they're both really, really similar. And the contests are really hard. They're putting it on Buddy's head, but I don't know if that's the best option. Maybe trying to lead off May might be the go, but it's been a good contest between those two. Half time at the G, real, uh, real concert-like atmosphere up here in level four. The tunes are blaring. Pretty good half by the Ds. I don't know if I'm being biased or not, but I felt like we probably could have kicked a couple more in that second quarter. I feel like the lead isn't really showing the game accurately, but we do lead by 11 points, so I'll take it every day of the week. Some big battles between May and Franklin, deep inside 50. I think Petrarca started well, his goal, well, his miss, running into goal, streaming through the middle there, could have been all time. Second half about to start, come on Ds. Tom Papley's gone the miracle soccer off the ground from the boundary. He has been that lively. If we lose this game tonight, it'll be because of him. I have no doubt about it. Long ball forward to Brown. Oh, and he's kicked his third. Yes, Benny. He's a bit nervous about his debut last week, but becoming a real target up front. Having a bit of a presence. Oh, vintage Tommy Mack. Grabbed it out of the pack, took on a couple, snaps it on his left. He sort of bounced off the ropes, lifted the arms, parted the seas. Oh, get around him. Tommy Mack and Benny Brown performing. The key forwards, it's a good problem to have. 
It's a good problem to have. I only just noticed that it's raining at the G. The last four times I've been here, I've been out under the weather just getting absolutely pissed on. So for once, it's good to be high up and under the roof. Great fall pressure from T-Bone. Because he's tried to take the advantage with a little miracle, but it's missed. So Tommy Mack gets the kick again. Going for number three from a really tight angle. Sort of two meter Peter type angle. Tommy Mack. Tommy Mack. Tommy Mack! Yes! Oh, the man can't be stopped. Listen to the cheers as he comes off. Oh, Tommy Mack. After getting dropped last year, the man's arguably in career best. Unbelievable. The D skip out to a 22 point lead towards the end of the third. Come on. Luke Barker had an eternity at the top of the 50. I thought he was looking for Bard, but he was looking for Lloyd. Swannies get one back. My man Tommy Papley has slotted one across the body from 45 in the wet on Hibbard. We spoke about him at halftime. If the Swans are going to get up, he's going to be the difference. A kick two in a row, and they have all the momentum. Three quarter time here at the G. I felt like we could have kicked clear there, but Swans kicked a couple late, and they're still in it. The D's lead by 10 points. We played well so far. I think we should be able to finish it off, but you just never know. We never beat the Swans. I never come to a D Swans game and see us win, so this would be massive, and a real chance to go to eight and zip. Huge last term coming up. Come on, D. Gonna be interesting to see how this one finishes up. Come on, Dees, bring it home. Sinclair has snuck it home. Three in a row to the Swans. Oh, golly, golly, gosh. <laughs> Very quick clearance inside 50. And I reckon that's similarly how they kicked their first goal. Just quick clearance, quick inside 50, bang. Spargo out of nothing. Gets boot to ball. I don't know if they're convinced or not. What are we doing here? Surely it was over. The arc. It's a snag. Come on. Well done, Charlie Spargo. Come on, Dean. Cal Mills lining up. He'll kick from 45 out directly in front to reduce it to three points halfway through the last. Mills. Oh, God. It is coming down to the wire. Got the ball inside 50. I don't feel nervous. We're only up by three points, or four points, but I don't know. I've got this wave of faith in the boys to get it done. Fast forward five minutes and we'll probably lose, but I, I don't know. I feel all right. Come on, Dees. Get it done. Come on, track. Harmsy has it top of the 50. If we could get a clunk from a B Brown or T-Mac right now would be really, really timely. You, you can't imagine this going the distance. So top of the square and a big clunk would be everything. Up by four, being pushed all the way by the Swans. This is massive. It's going short, who's there? Come on. Tommy Mack from the clouds! Oh! Unbelievable! Oh my god! Come on! Come on! Yes! Tommy Mack! Oh, get around him! Can't be much time left. 27 minutes in, lead by 10. The ball gets thrown in. In the Swans forward line, Harmsy. Tries to shrug, misses the handball to Brayshaw, and he gets absolutely fed over the line. Kennedy plays on. Hunt. Hayward. Desperate times for the Swans. They've missed. I reckon that's it. We just need to kill it, kill a bit of clock. Can't be much time left. The Ds have been huge in this one. Petrarch is... Yes! Petrarch has been crunched late in the contest. Hopefully just a corky. But the D's are home. 
And we're eight and zip. Oh, what a gritty win. Jeez, the Swans pushed us the whole way. Tough, tough game. I'm hoping Petrarca's all right. He pulled up a little bit sore after that last contest. Jeez, push, push for the full four quarters. That's the lowest score by us all year, I reckon. But what a victory. We can mix it with the best. And the D's go to eight zip. Come on. Good old acquaintance. The red and the blue. Yeah. Home and hosed. Uh, I forgot to wrap the vlog up as I was exiting the G, but the scenes were high, the vibes were high, which was unbelievable. Um, I'm just about to do a little bit of editing before I hit the hay and edit the rest of this video tomorrow. Eight and zip. I say it, but I don't believe it. Uh, big contest with the Blues next week. That's another team that are very very competitive against us no matter where we are on the ladder so that'll be a, a massive clash next week hopefully i can drag <laughs> roger along and not be the weird guy all by himself with the camera again at the g <laughs> once again guys i appreciate all the support i appreciate everyone watching There's plenty more content coming this week and i'll see you very very soon Cheers.